This is one of the most disgusting stories I think I've probably ever covered on. I mean, I say this every time that I cover another story. And just when you think that you have heard everything there is to hear, you hear something else that happens in the news and you're like, I cannot even believe that I'm reading this right now. This is 33-year-old Christopher Allen Holford over here. And he is a registered sex offender who failed to report his address where he was living. He made friends with a couple that lived close by who had an 18-year-old autistic Steel. son. That boy is Austin Steele below me. Christopher shot Austin in the throat, let him bleed out, and then dismembered the boy's body. And as if that's not awful and disgusting enough, he literally spread the boy's body parts throughout his yard. You know, you have to wonder how much evil someone has to possess inside to be capable of doing something like that, right? Like, I cannot even comprehend how that thought to do something like that even enters somebody's mind let alone to follow through on it and actually do it. It's just insanity. I'm going to go ahead and show everybody a press conference that was released in regard to this case. Let's go ahead and take a look. At approximately 5.30 a.m., deputies were dispatched to a location to speak with someone who had information about a possible murder that occurred here in Lancaster County. An investigator from the sheriff's office was called in and through more investigation, enough probable cause or enough information was received to gain probable cause for the property located at 1834 and 1838 High Point Circle. God, look at that home. During the execution of the search warrant, officers from the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office, the State Law Enforcement Division, and the Lancaster County Coroner's Office located a human torso absent the limbs buried on the property. A human head was found behind the building underneath several bags. Remains were also found in a burn barrel and bones were found strewn across the property. Also recovered on the property, investigators found a revolver, an ax, knives, and other cutting instruments. We have sufficient evidence based on what was recovered and through statements that were taken that the remains are those of Austin Tyler Steele, who would have been 19 years old today. Austin also resided at 1838 High Point Circle. After interviewing Christopher Allen Holford through late last night, investigators charged him with murder, possession of a violent crime during the commission, or possession of a firearm during the commission of a violent crime domestic violence of a high and aggravated nature, and he was charged this morning with fear to provide sex offender registry internet information. Brandy Duncan was also interviewed yesterday, and she was charged with accessory after the fact of murder. Through the interviews, we established that she did assist in destroying and concealing evidence of the murder. He hasn't been seen in the last three to four weeks. The two suspects were husband and wife, and the uh, victim was a friend. This stuff you see on TV, I would never imagine that we would find or have someone living in Lancaster County capable of doing these kind of things. Probably one of the worst cases I've experienced in my 28 years. You know, again, you, you, have, to, you have to wonder the level of evil truly evil inside of a human being to be capable of doing something like that. Um, they have not said whether or not Austin had been molested or sexually assaulted. I don't even know if they'll be able to determine that based on the condition of his remains, but I would imagine that is most likely the case considering that Christopher is a sex offender um and in my opinion he probably did sexually assault the boy and was trying to get rid of him so he wouldn't tell anyone although again 
That is pure speculation on my part. Um, but he did plead guilty to the murder of Austin Steele, and he was sentenced to 60 years in prison. All over the internet, people are talking about this, saying he should have gotten life. And I agree with that wholeheartedly, but I am confident that the inmates will, will take care of this on their own. Um, my heart and my prayers and thoughts go out to Austin's family and friends, and I will update this case if they put out any more information. Be sure to subscribe to Crime411 on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. My website is crime411.org. Again, I'm Melissa Marquet, and we'll see you soon.